Hi everyone! Welcome back to Conversion Chef YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a store in Big Commerce. So without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, just go to bigcommerce.com forward slash essentials and you will be directed on this section. So just click start your free trial button to begin setting up your store. So just follow the instructions and provide the necessary details about your store. So in step one, of course, you need to have an email address. Afterwards, the second one is to start building your store. So you have to provide your store name, a password, and whatnot. So you just need to follow these three different steps and you'll be good to go. So afterwards, just click on finish. So after setting up, you are now good to go. So you now have access to the platform. So if you haven't watched yet the first part of this series, where I talk about the different features of Big Commerce, I have the link on the description box or you may just visit Conversion Chef YouTube channel. So we are now on the homepage of Big Commerce. So on the homepage, you now you can find here the different steps on adding a product, setting up your shipping method, your payment method, and your taxes. So you may always check that. You also have here different guides on how to list your products on Google, your storefront customization, your store profile setup, and many more. You also have here the store performance as well as the different statistics of your store. So after creating a store in Big Commerce, what you need to do next is to set up your store settings in terms of payment method, the shipping methods, domain setup, and many more. So you may find all these settings on the bottom of the different menus. So you have here your store setup. So in here, you can change your store details like your store name, your store address, and the different contact information. So you may always change that in the store profile. Also, you can find here the different currencies that can work for your store. So you need to change the currency because this currency will be used to display the price tags as well as this will be the currency your customers will be charged with. So next one is that you have to set up properly your payment methods. So they offer here PayPal and there are other online and offline as well as digital wallets payment methods. In the digital wallets, Apple Pay and Google Play is included. So, so just check out the different online payment methods and see which works best for you. So you also need a carrier to deliver your products so you may set that up on the shipping section. So after setting those up, let's proceed to the server settings. So this is more on the technical side of your store. So first, of course, you need a domain name. So to set up your domain name, you just need to purchase a domain name anywhere convenient for you. But to upload a domain in BigCommerce, you need to upgrade your subscription. So to upgrade your subscription, you may check your account settings. So you have here your account summary invoices, upgrade account, your email, as well as the add different account details. So you also have here your SSL certificates and SSL certificates keeps your store protected as well as the confidential information like your bank details and many more. So after setting those up, we now move on in designing your store so to do that so to do that just proceed to storefront so in this section you may change your theme so there are a lot of free themes as well as paid themes on the theme marketplace 
So just scroll around these areas and see which is more appropriate to your brand. So for example, you are setting up your store for a health or home and garden niche. So you may always filter that out as well as if you want to see those free themes. So these are the different available ones. So for example, we would like to use this. Just click on the theme. So on the theme options, you may view a demo of this theme. Now, of course, this is not yet done because you need to customize it first so that it would be a unique store. So on the logo, you may upload a custom image to use as your logo so that it would be more personalized. Or you may just enter a text to display as your logo. You also have here the favicon. Or the favicon, this is the icon that you can see here on the different tabs. So just set that up. So first, let's customize our theme. So to customize it, just click on the customize button. So what's good with BigCommerce is that it has its own page builder. So you may create a new section on your page without going outside of BigCommerce. So if you want to add a section on your page, you may just drag and drop these different sections so for example you would like to add a two column section so just drag a layout so on the layout you may select one columns up to six columns so you may also change the proportion of your columns by just sliding this which is very easy to use you also have here your margins and some other customizers like the layout background and your borders. So for example, you would like also to add a text and an image. So that's just how easy it is to create a new section on your page. So it is an easy drag and drop page builder which is very convenient for beginners. So you don't need an advanced web development skills to add to add a new section on your pages. So another good thing about the different themes in BigCommerce is that it is always responsive. So it's looking good. So of course with your different pages, you have here the different layers. And you may check that out on this section. So you have here the different layouts. So you may also change the order of the different layers through drag and drop. So it's very easy. So if you want this one here or you want to change this. So it's moved there. You also have here the theme styles. So if you want to change the colors. You may change the primary, the accent, the link colors, as well as the border colors, and many more. So just play around these different customizers and customize it according to your brand. Another good thing about this one is that you may also use HTML. So you may create your own codes or program a section. So with HTML, you can create your own codes. So in this section, you may put here your own codes. So if you are done creating your pages, you may save it. You may also preview it. So this is how it would look like. So on your pages, you only have your home page as well as your shipping and returns page. Now, how do we create a new page? So you may just click on the create new page button and then just put your page name, for example, a catalog or the products. So if there is a parent page and just create page. So in this video, we will not be creating a whole page. So I'm just showing you the different important informations in setting up your store. So on the storefront, you also have here your home page carousel. So you may change the different slides here. 
so you may also customize the different text like for example change this one store by Chris so you may customize these informations in this section so you also have here your social media links these are the different icons that you would like to display on your store for example Facebook Twitter as well as Pinterest or so just play around these areas and see which is more appropriate to display on your store so let's say that we would like to add the Facebook icon so to do that of course you just need to paste the link of your Facebook account and drag this upwards so you may always add these different icons for example Twitter and LinkedIn now after adding your social media links you may save it so in the storefront you also have here the web pages so these are the different pages on your store so you have here the contact us page your products your shipping and returns and your blog so to create a blog you just go here and click the plus button to create a blog so you have here your title the body the author and tags for seo purposes as well as a summary thumbnail image but it is an optional one you also have here your seo so your url and the meta description so after creating one just click on publish or if it is still on a process or under construction you may save it as a draft so you also have here your image manager so you may upload all the different images that you are going to use on your store so that it would be easier to add an image from this section when you are creating your store you also have here the gift certificate templates for birthdays for Christmas and other celebrations or occasions so this is already for your marketing so those are the different sections in the storefront and in customizing your store so of course in a store you need to add a product so on the left you can find in the menus the orders products and customers which we'll be talking in another video so in this video we just tackled about designing your store and setting it up in big commerce so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one bye thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and share this video and we are happy to hear from you on the comment section Visit our YouTube channel Conversion Chef for more videos about reviews of Shopify applications that can help you increase or boost your sales. You may also check the description below for the links of the applications and our mailing list. If you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified with our new updates. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!